for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the hangman and it's with the Knight of Cups. Now the hangman, it does show being at a crossroads. It could be with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this did happen or if it does happen, it's definitely a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. Because it's possible that there could be, there could be an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Just know that any any sacrifice that you make, it will open up your... I'm sorry, I'm fumbling over my, my... fumbling my words. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that any sacrifice that you make, it is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, this should have been or it was a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you were willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interests by being willing to change. That's a little bit about the hangman. Now, it's paired with this Knight of Cups. Like most, if not all, the cups in the tarot. It's very optimistic. Great card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. It bears messages or a message. And usually they are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Knight of Cups, it tells you that things will be going well or things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card is about good news, especially in the realm of matters of the heart. So, yeah, recent past energy between you and your person, hangman, clarified by this Knight of Cups. So, Gemini, you are dealing with someone that um, really wanted to be with you. That's a recent past energy. They come rushing in being romantic and sensitive. But for some reason, you confuse them. Yeah, they didn't know if, she, if they should stay. Should they go? Up, down, yes or no? Yeah, you confuse the heck out of this person. And it looks like yeah, they have a lot of romantic feelings for you. This person, um, their heart was in it. When you get the Knight of Cups, their heart is in it, or they're willing to give it. They come rushing in, wanting to be very romantic and sensitive towards you. But, yeah, you, for some reason... Yeah, they you had you had this person stuck in their head. They just didn't didn't know what to do. Maybe they didn't know what to do when when they came towards you. Maybe you I don't know. Did you put a stop to something? You did something that caused this person to be confused. But they were ready to come rushing in just to be with you. So that's a recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up. Sec towards mid-October. Just know the time is fluid. So it could be around now. It could go towards the end of October. Time is fluid when you get these readings. But anyway, we'll use the word present. So for the present time, we have got the chariot, and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now the chariot, 
it does indicate a lot of energy, but just know it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed. It is controlled. And it definitely has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be feeling pretty clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Yeah, this chariot, it points to being determined and ambitious. Getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with, with, with whatever is in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But you're going to have to remember that you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So, that's a chariot. And it's clarified by this Eight of Swords, which is, which is showing holding yourself back. It could be because you're afraid to move into the future. You could be wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Or just for no reason at all. And I say for no reason at all because if you look at the Eight of Swords, it's the card that's below the word present. This man, he's just, he's kind of like caged himself in. Kind of. He left, a, there's an opening right there in front of him. There's a fire behind him, and I'm sure he can feel the heat. So this person could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But no, he's just stuck there. This person's stuck in his head, just afraid, afraid to move. And it's probably for no reason at all, since this person actually has a, a walkway there. There's an opening. Just put one foot in, the, in front of the other and run. So, it's about needing, needing to think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, with these two cards paired together for your present time, Chariot cl Clarified, Chariot Clarified by the Eight of Swords. So like I said, your person, they wanted to be with you. Being very romantic. You confused them. And it looks like coming up. Yeah, this, this person still wants you. They're going to try to take things really fast with you. Yeah, that's what it looks like with the chariot, because the chariot goes, like, really fast. So, and, But it has a plan, it has a goal and a dream. So this person might try to put a rush on you. Yeah, they want to come out of confusion. They want some clarity. But it looks like you don't move forward. You just kind of, you're afraid to move forward with this person. Maybe you're afraid of getting hurt. And it's, or it could be for no reason at all. Yeah, for some reason you cannot move forward, or you just, you're not moving forward with this person. And like I said, they're going to try to put a rush on things. They're, they want to come out of being confused. Yeah, so you still got this person confused, and now you're stuck in your head, and you're, you're afraid to move forward. So, that's what we got coming up for the present time. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what we got for the challenge here. Now, the challenge, we got the Page of Wands, and it's with Temperance. The Page of Wands, they're usually warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, if this is not an actual person, it does indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, it's about needing to stay focused Maybe some things that you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. It can show a need for new things, though. Maybe new adventures, new approaches, 
new ideas, the page, it brings a pos positive energy. But because of this easy distraction energy that the page of wands has, um, it brings a positive energy, but you're going to have to supply the follow through, which might be difficult. So that's a little bit about the page of wands. Now it's with temperance. Temperance is, um, it does indicate that your relationships, they're probably going quite well, but you might have to look and see if there are any deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and also with any goals and aspirations you have. So the challenge page of wands clarified by temperance. So I don't know who this is. I don't know if this person that's coming after you is someone that you, you're with or if it's somebody new. Well, with Page of Wands here, it's saying this person, um, well, with Temperance and Page of Wands, it's, it's indicating that they want to bring, they see that you're, Wait a minute, let me get my words straight. They see that you're not moving forward with them. Even though they try to put a, even though they try to rush you. They're trying to rush you now because like I said, they want to get stuck out of their head. So they realize that you it's not working. Whatever they're doing is not working, so they reach out to you again as a page of wands. And for now, they just want to find balance in the connection. Yeah. They're kind of exhausted by what's going on. And it looks like not much of anything. Yeah, you're not opening up. And you're still confused. So, it looks like they are for the challenge. They just want peace of mind now. <laughs> yep, they, they just... Yeah, they want to bring balance to the connection. They're ready to take a look at any mistakes that they that you feel that they've made in this connection, or find out if there's some mistake that they made. They want to know what's going on because they just want peace of mind now, just reconciliation. That's what temperance can be about. Because this person, they have a lot of passion for you. So, like I said, they reach out again. Yeah, the Page of Wands can be about messages coming in, messages of love and affection. Um, having a lot of excitement and a lot of passion. So, you got somebody that really likes you, Gemini. I don't know why you're running from this person. Hmm. Yeah, why are you running from this person? They really got some emotions for you here. And passion. So, something happened, I guess, that we'll never know. Unless you tell us about it in the comments. So, that's the challenge. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the outcome. Well, we got the Hermit card, and it's with Justice. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. Yeah. Being in the frame of mind that you need or want some time alone, don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house, so that you can clear your head. This is also very much a card about trying to do hard, the right thing. But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So that's the Hermit card, and it's with Justice which deals with the ideal of karma, the law of cause and effect. Now, it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with 
is a direct result of your own actions or karma because sometimes we can be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about so don't blame yourself unnecessarily and if you're directly involved in a court case and you get this justice card in the reading it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor so the outcome Gemini Hermit clarified by justice so I don't know it looks like your person is going through a lot I want to I'm picking up that it's you going to hermit mode but I'm also feeling that your person this person that keeps reaching out to you it could be the both of you going to hermit mode but I'm picking up that it's for the most part it's you Gemini you go into hermit mode you spend some time alone uh, to clear your mind get rid of some baggage and I say it's you because I'm looking at this eight of swords the way you're just so so messed up here yeah, like I said, there's a fire coming behind you and you won't move. So, you you realize that you need some time alone to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage. Maybe about whatever, whatever happened that was negative that's causing you to be afraid to move forward with this, with this person. You realize that, you realize that once you do this, spend some time alone, and not make this connection a priority because that's what the hermit does relationships are not a priority you realize that you're going to get some clarity and that's what justice is about justice brings clarity and truth so yeah that's that's it's showing that that's what you you're realizing that that's what you need to do you need to clear your mind get some clarity and you feel like the way that you're going to get this clarity and truth and feel justified or satisfied or feel like justice has been served yeah, is by spending time alone yeah because a lot of times when you're involved with someone you don't get the clarity until this person is out of your energy and they keep trying to put their energy towards you or with you so you realize that that needs to stop yeah you spend time alone and it's showing it's going to be a good thing if you haven't done it already because you're going to you're going to get the answers that you need you're going to find out if this is what you should do move towards this person that's got so much passion for you or if you should just 